Welcome back, friends, to another episode of Average Joe's Barbecue. Today, we're going to be cooking up some jalapeno bacon cheeseburgers on the pellet grill. And most importantly, I get to play with this. All right, we're going to go ahead and get started with two pounds of ground chuck. Now, this is 80-20, and I love making burgers out of this. This is definitely what you want to be looking for. It's got a little bit more fat in it. Fat is flavor. So definitely look for this at the market when you're getting ready to grill. Recipe is simple today. We're going to start with one tablespoon of pink Himalayan salt, or you can use any kind of salt that you have in your pantry. No deal breaker there. One tablespoon of black pepper. Go ahead and get that in there. And then we're going to add one tablespoon of granulated garlic. Now you can use garlic powder as well. Um, granulated garlic is what I had on hand and it works well. And the star of the show, one tablespoon of ground jalapeno peppers. Now, you might not have ground jalapeno pepper powder in your pantry, uh, so you can finally chop some, some three or four jalapenos and get the same effect. But if you have it, and, or you can get it, this will make this job a lot easier and a lot less messy, and then you don't have to worry about getting it all over your hands and touching your eyes. So once you got those ingredients in there, you're gonna get it all worked in there. And you're gonna to wanna to take a minute with this. You wanna make sure all those seasonings are worked well into the meat. You don't wanna have any bland spots. Just work it well in there and get it all mixed up. Don't be afraid to get your hands dirty. Uh, this is definitely um, one of the more critical parts of this. We gotta keep, make sure that every bite is as delicious as possible and working that, those seasonings into that meat is definitely key to that. So we're gonna to continue to keep working it in there and get it ready to make burger patties out of. So now that we got it worked in there, we're gonna go ahead and clear our space and get it, get the patties made up. Now this is two pounds. So the easiest way to make half pound patties is just cut it in fours. I, I like the karate chop method, but um, you, you know, what you do, you do you and do what works best for you. So I'm going to go ahead and get these things made up into patties. There's number three and number four. So get them in the balls first and then we'll go ahead and shape them um, to the appropriate thickness that, uh, that you like. So I like mine a little bit thicker, so I tend to make them on the thick side. Um, but you know, use your family's preferences and, and, and do what works best for you. So we're gonna go ahead and get those into about quarter inch thick patties. And it doesn't have to be perfection. This is, uh, they're burgers, you know. Um, so as long as they're relatively flat, what you don't want to see is, uh, you know, having uh, misshapen patties on the grill. So we'll go ahead and get these wrapped up and then we'll move on to the bacon. There's a nice little close up of what these look like before they hit the grill. These look good already. You see all the freshly ground pepper in there and it looks good. So we're going to go ahead and transition over to setting up the bacon. So. As we set the bacon up here, I got myself a grilling pan, and uh, you can get this at Amazon. Um, it's, it's what I like to use when I smoke my bacon. And if you've never had smoked bacon before, uh, you are definitely missing out. Uh, smoked bacon is fantastic. Uh, gotta have some forewarning on, on bacon though. Uh, if you run the temp too high, you will start a grease fire. So just be cognizant of that. You know, just keep it low and slow, 225 and you won't have any problems. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my bacon on here. This is a thick cut bacon. We'll get it on my bacon pan. And um, you know, you can pick up thick, thick cut bacon anywhere, you know, wherever your local market is, or you know, if you have a butcher around you, you know, ask for some thick cut bacon. Um, it makes the world a difference, especially on burgers. Now, you can go ahead and you can actually overlap these. I'm not doing this here, but you can actually overlap these because bacon does shrink when you cook it. And, um, but I have just enough space for the four burgers that I need. No point in uh, cooking too much and have some extra. So I'm just gonna go ahead and lean them up next to each other um, and fill the, pan, fill the pan up myself. And next up, I'm going to go ahead and use that um, ground jalapeno powder again. Um, this is, this stuff is, uh, you know, pretty, pretty intense, you know, as it relates, it definitely tastes like jalapeno. Um, so you wanna make sure that, you know, you, you put on the amount that you can handle, you know, you definitely don't want to put on too much and, you know, ruin it for everyone else who you're hosting for. And um, so you, you'll learn how to use the right amount. And so I just lightly sprinkling this on the, on the bacon itself. And we can make sure that um, we have that nice 
smoky jalapeno flavor on the bacon. So we're gonna take this outside to the grill now. So we're gonna go ahead and fire up the grill. And like I told you before, I like to run this at 225. So I'm putting the bacon on first because this is definitely um, gonna take a little bit longer to cook than the, the burgers themselves. So as the grill comes to temp, just make sure we always have that the thick white smoke as it before it starts to combust and light up. Um, that's, if you work with uh, pellet grills, you you know all, this all too well. So you let it come up, come up and shut it down. Now that the grill's at temp, we go ahead and put the bacon on. And so we're just going to go ahead and put this in our rack. And this is going to go for about an hour, um, maybe a little bit longer. But uh, I'm definitely going to have it in there an hour before I get the burgers in there. And I definitely want to give it a little more time. Definitely one more more exposure to smoke, and and make sure that these things are working well. So. We're about an hour into it now, and these things are, all, you know, about halfway or a little bit more than halfway done. And you can tell by the color on them. So they're definitely looking good and smelling good at this point. So at this point, you know, check it. You know, you might want to check it every hour or so, every 15 minutes after that. Just you know, depending on your thickness of bacon and how hot you're running, it will vary. But uh, definitely take a look at it, and when it looks like that, then you know you're about ready. So at this time is when I'm going to put the, the burgers on. The burgers won't take that long at all. So I don't change the temp at all. They definitely we're gonna keep it where it is and let this thing keep going. So about 30 minutes has passed and the bacon is, as you can see here, is looking done. It's looking perfect. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull that out and I'm going to uh, do some probe checks on the burgers and see where they stand. Now, I like to run these things uh, about 130 to 135 degrees. Uh, you do you. Um, you know, if you like it more on the done side, you might need to let it run a little bit longer. But these things are probing out at about 135, so I know it's time for the cheese. And I'm using a I'm using a provolone here, um, but cheddar works well. Uh, you know, whatever you choose is good. But I like provolone for the fact that it melts well, it looks good, and tastes good. So I'm using provolone on those. And here we are, about 10 minutes later, cheese is starting to melt, and they are looking fantastic. So this is, this is about the point in the game where we get to start playing, playing with the torch. And we'll go ahead and get that going and um, make these things awesome. You know, if you've never done it this way, highly recommend, you know, it gives you that nice crunchy cheese texture on your burgers. And, you know, it just pairs really well with the bacon. Um, as you can see, I put the torch almost, almost all the way up next to it. Uh, and you just kind of brown it up, you know, to your level of satisfaction. This, uh, this is definitely, you know, I'm doing a light browning on these, but if you want to go a little bit longer, you know, make them a little bit darker, by all means, you can definitely do that. But these are definitely, look, I mean, look at these things. These look fantastic already, and they smell really good. So I'm just going to continue to brown these. If you see any, any char marks you want on your, uh, on your burgers as well, that maybe the cheese didn't hit, you can definitely use the torch for that. But you know, just kind of hit those uh, to your level that you are you enjoy, and you'll you'll be good. As you can see, I was hitting the burger there instead of the cheese to brown it up a little bit. But these are this is definitely a, a cool trick. So I got these browned up, and they are ready to be pulled from the grill. And we'll pan in, look, give you a close up of those. Those look good. Nice and golden brown, crunchy cheese. Yeah, I don't think you can do much better than that. Those are fantastic. So here we are. We got it plated up and we got it made. And I'm going to give you guys the reveal shot. I mean, look how, look how juicy these things are. You can, if you look closely, you can see the. We're going to pan in on hit on this, and you can see the actual smoke ring on the burger. These are just fantastic. If you've never had smoke burgers, definitely, definitely try it. Thank you everyone, this meal is Sherman approved, so if you like what you see, please hit that subscribe button and leave us a comment below. Have a good night folks.